hello everyone welcome to my channel if you're a subscriber thank you for watching if you're new to my channel thank you for coming you are very welcome to let's cook with l today i'll be showing this delicious fish pepper soup which is great for this cold weather also if you have a cold like i do now so excuse my voice if you like to know how i made this then please keep watching so before i get started i'd like to say a big Thank you to Costax Spices for sponsoring today's video. I'll leave all the details in the description box below on where to purchase them and where to find them. So guys, for this recipe, I've got some scotch bonnet. Please do not panic. This is optional and I'll show you later on how to use it just for the aroma and not the super, super spiciness. So I've got bay leaf here garlic, ginger and Costax spices curry powder. It just combines all the ingredients together. It's just amazing. And I'm using this pepper. I don't know what you call this, but I think it's in the same family as bell pepper. <laughs> so it's not spicy, it's sweet. I've got some salt here. As you can see today, my salt is very visible. And I've got a very big spring onion. And I'll also be using a blender to mix all the vegetables together and here I've got pangasus which is also known as malangwa you can use any fish of your choice and this is such an oily fish I already cleaned it already and ready to be cooked so guys that's it for the ingredients for more information please see the description box below measurements or follow up throughout this video so let's get started So I've washed the vegetables and peeled off the skin of the ginger and garlic. I'm now chopping them just a bit so that it's easy to blend. With the pepper, I removed the top part as well as the seeds inside. So everything has gone in the blender, apart from the scotch bonnet, bay leaf and the curry powder. I'm going to add a little bit of water just to make it easy for it to blend. So I basically blend it into a smooth but not too smooth, just a thick paste like this, which is nice. Here what I'm going to do is add the blended vegetables into the pot. Then I'm going to add about a cup of water. And I'm going to add half of this Costax Spicy Curry Powder in 5 grams. So basically is 1 tablespoon of it. And I'm adding a bit of salt, mix it together, then turn on the heat on max. So I'm turning it on high heat and I'm going to leave this to cook for 10 minutes. While the vegetable is boiling, I'm going to season the fish a bit with about half a teaspoon of salt and the remaining curry powder, which is a tablespoon of it. Guys, I must say, this curry powder goes so well with this pepper soup, guys. You know I've been using it in so many dishes, but I must say, this one here, it has been my favourite so far. It just tastes absolutely delicious. And I'm not saying that because it's sponsored today's video. I'm saying it because it tastes absolutely beautiful with the pepper soup. So as you can see guys, I'm just mixing it all well together and leave it to marinate for about 10 minutes. What you can do is leave it to marinate overnight, but I don't have time, so I'm just leaving it for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, I allowed the liquid to cool down a bit for a few minutes because it was super hot. Then, as you can see, I added the fish. If you want the pepper soup to just have a little kick but not too spicy, here's the trick. What I would suggest is to not remove the peduncle, which is what I'm holding, not pull it off. And also do not cut the chili or squeeze it because you know what's going to happen. 
there's going to be some heat exit so if there was only one chili i can squeeze it or cut it it won't really phase me as much as i love spicy food the fact that there's four chilies nah but if you still want it to have that kick i'm going to show you in just a minute on how i serve it I'll now add bay leaf and half a cup of water, then leave this to cook on medium heat for 25 to 30 minutes and make sure you check on it every now and then. Guys, it's really important to check your food every now and then and also taste it just to see if there's anything missing, if you need to add some salt, if you need to add some water for the consistency that you like your soup to be. If voila is done, you can serve this with fufu, with guanga, any swallow of your choice. I served mine with boiled plantain. Guys, I absolutely adore pepper soup with boiled plantain. It is so delicious. You must try this recipe. It is so great, especially for this winter weather. Or if you're coming up with a cold, it's just refreshing. So this is how I make it spicy. I individually serve it, then squeeze that scotch bonnet to make it spicy just the way I like it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give it a like, comment, share with your friends and family, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll speak to you all on my next one. Ciao!